Right. So I'm seeing an increasing number of leaflets being shared across social media from Tory candidates and MPs that look like this. They're green. In fact, they're exactly the same two-tone shades of green my party, the Green Party, use. So what gives? In fact, they go further than that. They are complete and utter rip-offs of the same style the Green Party used. But the Tories are afraid of the Greens. Here's an example of a typical Green Party flyer. You can see the two-tone shades of green used there, the typeface used, simple, bold, to the point. Now take a look at these again. These are all Conservative flyers. All of the people featured are Tory MPs, not least the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Jeremy Hunt, doing it. One of those featured, Derbyshire MP Robert Largan, even used the colours to advertise an advice surgery, and it reminded me of another former Derbyshire MP's words, those of the beast of Bolsover, Dennis Skinner, when he supposedly said half the Tories opposite are crooks. When he was told to retract that statement, said, OK, then half the Tories opposite aren't crooks. This is bent by any stretch of the imagination when the Tory branding is very much blue, and these leaflets don't even contain the word conservative, let alone any sign of blue on them. You would figure this should be an open and shut case for the Electoral Commission to deal with, blatantly copying another party because, well, they don't dare stand on their own name, their own colours, their own reputation, tarnished and trashed as they are in the uh, public eye. So where are they then? Where are the Electoral Commission in all of this? Well, they're in the Tories' pockets now, unfortunately. The independent watchdog regulating electioneering conduct got taken over by the Tories last year under Boris Johnson via the Elections Bill, which passed last April. It effectively has put the running of elections in the hands of the Tories. They can arguably run elections to suit themselves now. Another so-called regulator that is itself now regulated by those in power, the very people this watchdog was supposed to regulate itself. Free and fair elections ended last April, and I doubt you even noticed. They got barely any publicity, not a sniff. This is why political interference is now happening. It's starting with leaflets. With the Tories aping the Green Party, they can not only spread their own messaging to people that ordinarily would been a Tory flyer the minute it hit the doormat, but also fool people into thinking the Greens stand for things they actually don't. The name of the candidate is often not a household name, even at the level of many MPs. It's blatantly dirty tactics. It's underhanded, it's anti-democratic, and it doesn't seem to be stopping. But this isn't the only dirty tactic being played out here either, though. The Tories are once again sending out applications for postal votes, urging people to post them back to them. Whilst that's not illegal, it stinks of what's called vote fishing by encouraging people to vote for the candidate or party that sent it by returning it to the party themselves and not to the local electoral registration officer. Though now the Tories are in charge of the Electoral Commission to whom complaints should be sent, it'll be a wonder if there's anything that would get done about it anyway. In the case highlighted to me, um, this happened most recently, somebody had been sent such a form by Hitchin and Harpenden Conservatives up in Hertfordshire, the local party of Bim Afolami, as it happens. The Tory ridiculed on last week's Question Time, if you happen to watch. There doesn't seem to be any holding of the Tories to account on this. No way of stopping them carrying on doing it. The Electoral Commission remains utterly silent right now and that's a big problem for democracy i can't imagine they haven't had complaints go in by now maybe a few more emails sent in that direction highlighting such underhandedness might encourage them to develop a spine and do or say something or at the very least shame them for not doing so thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please do hit like and subscribe leave a comment and hit the notification bell too so you don't miss the next one also look out for me on social media and other interesting stuff by clicking on the link tree link in the comments below and i will see you next time cheers folks